welcome to Harding Street, Hendra. Come meet Kayla and Darius. I got it through a mutual friend. He texted me originally and um, sent through a house that Rob was selling, I think at the time, it was in Barton. And um, we were actually, because he knew we were looking or looking to buy or do something like that. And, and I just sent back, like, we really liked the photos and we liked the style that, that Rob had and uh, some of his builds and that. But um, we were already really keen on Hendra. And um, so we got in contact that way and said, oh, we'd be keen to get a, we don't have a builder yet. We'd love to like, talk to Rob and kind of went from there. Yeah, of course. Um, it's a big, it's a big thing picking the right builder, I think. And um, as Darius said, a lot of the work that he had already done, um, we loved a lot of the the styles of houses that they had built. So that was a, a big tick for me. Yeah, he was really yeah. good. Uh, I just think, obviously, yeah, a bit like you said, being first time renovators, we didn't really know what to expect. And I think Rob went above and beyond. Definitely, he um, was always really good with emailing back quickly. Or with, there's probably some Sunday Sunday night texts <laughs> and different things where. You don't expect your builder to pick up or, or answer a question, but he was always on the ball and, and helped out definitely more than probably someone else would have. Mm. Um, I just like the flow. I like how you can flow from the front to the back. Um, I just I like the pool area and the and the little media slash man cave room as well. It's probably one of my favourite spots, obviously. I love the entry and I love the blush uh, and candles. I think it's a beautiful touch and when people are walking out on the street or driving past it's it's a feature so it, it stands out all day and, and all night it's beautiful we are you are <laughs> We will be, yeah, for sure. Um, I think it, it's scary <clears throat> um, building and you know, all you hear are the disaster stories and um, as Darius mentioned earlier, Rob Rob kept me sane through the whole build. Um, he, and he made it enjoyable more than anything, which I think is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because we want to do it again. <laughs> because we know um, it, we've got a good relationship with him and um, it's like, it's like a mate relationship, but you can be professional at the same time, and you know that he's yeah he does a really good job, and and his team are incredible to work with. So um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we were very set on the house being black, which can be quite intimidating to a lot of people, but um, we had an incredible um, garden landscaper, uh, Mon, who is based in WA. Um, she was incredible. Um, as you can see from the outside, we've got a lot of greenery, which complements the black, and it just gives it a really um, an earthy feel. Um, and then flowing from the outside being so dark and coming in, and it's bright and it's airy, and we've got lots of glass, and the voids and the natural light. Um, so we were very particular in the finishes of the internals so that um, it, it had that feel. So we went with really light floorboards, you know, the beautiful marble tables and in the kitchen, light touches of timber and um, and that gives it that that very homely yeah, feel. homely, airy. It's a calming space and I want people to come in here and, and I want them to feel relaxed and, and calm and I think that it really does that when my daughter's not running around screaming. <laughs> <laughs> A year and a half ago I met Kayla and Darius through a mutual friend Rodney Davies. Um, I was trying to sell a house at the time and a, a link to some ha a house I built was sent to him. Um, he really liked the house but they were really interested in building their own family home so that's when the conversation started about looking for a custom house to build for both of them. 
Yeah, so the planning process was pretty different to how a house would normally get planned. So because I was involved really early in the process, um, so was the architect, Sean from Base Architecture. Um, we were costing, um, talking about finishes, um, talking about the whole build process from day one. So come build day, um, all the finishes were chosen and all the interiors by Kayla were chosen, um, which really made a simplistic quick build. So the architect choice was by Kayla and Darius. Um, they found base architecture and I was more than happy to work alongside them. I've been a fan of their work for a couple of years now. Um, so working alongside um, Sean and Steph was actually really enjoyable and I really look forward to using them again in the future. It was actually quite enjoyable building for someone that people knew. Like I was getting um, hooked up left, right and centre. I'd call Energex. Normally they'd say 20 days, 20 days will be there mate. But just say who owns the house and two minutes later, you know, they're there pulling the, pulling the power off the house. So yeah, I kind of like having the little um, uh, leverage on people, it's kind of good. I mean, at base we do a lot of architecture which has a lot of dark colour involved in it and makes a bit of a statement, but um, Kayla and Darius were really keen to get on board with that and they were sort of, saw some of the initial concepts where we had potentially a bit less, we never want to scare our clients straight away, um, but then yeah, they jumped on board and they were really keen to just kind of make the whole thing as black as possible with a really nice light interior to contrast with that. This is the first one I've worked with Rob on, um, but yeah, we definitely love to work with him again. It was a really good process and a really collaborative process, and we always like that with our builders, that we can, you know, work as a team with the clients as well and get it done. Hi, I'm a... Uh architectural photographer, uh, Christopher Frederick Jones, architectural photographer to the stars. I have, uh, I've been working with Rob now, is this the fifth house I've done for you now? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, probably five houses in total. Might be the last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <it's just> <laughs> pleasure, mate. <laughs> I thought yeah. I was going to punch it. The Mahara, I can't even say it. Mahara. Mahara. Yeah, Mahara. 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 Yeah. This is a lovely house, yeah. yeah no. A bit of a fan of Brick. Coming from the Northern Hemisphere, yeah. Brick's the day, you see. Well, you might see me on a soap opera or something after this little moment of loveliness. Yeah, right. is, isn't, this, yeah. isn't this a soap opera? <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Coming soon on Greyer TV. Short ball, Stephen Moore. Oh, Stephen Moore.